the Ministry of Defense has added 101 additional items to its list of defense-related equipment that cannot be imported from foreign countries. This is the third list issued by the Ministry, pushing the overall tally of such equipment to 310. Import restrictions for def on defense equipment are aimed to promote the indigenous defense manufacturing sector in India. These items will henceforth be procured from local sources as per the provi provisions of Defense Acquisition Procedure DAP 2020. Your thoughts? Very good. I have always been saying that India needs to completely indigenize its defense sector. All of our defense equipment, whether it is whether it is rifles, light rifles, AK-47 type rifles, or heavy machine guns, anti-aircraft guns, Bofors type uh, weaponry, aircraft, submarines, ships, whatever it is, or life, um, and what is it? Bulletproof vests, whatever it is, all of it needs to be manufactured in India. When you import equipment from others, there are all kinds of strings and conditions attached. Yesterday, in the other podcast, I spoke about how lots of this, these, this equipment can be remote controlled by the original equipment manufacturer. Certain features can be disabled on demand, on command, and you may be left with a, a piece of equipment or aircraft or whatever that doesn't work, that doesn't do what you need it to do. So it is very important. It's very important for India to completely indigenize its defense manufacturing industry. Everything needs to be manufactured in India. So these steps that are currently being taken by the government of India are a welcome move and a very important move in that direction. So I think it's a very good thing that the government is doing and it needs to be continued further over the years in a step-by-step -step manner, in a phased deployment manner. You first take a number of things that you can already manufacture in India and make it uh, and prohibit any import of that. Then wait for a few years and wait for your industry to mature. Then a whole other set of items can now be manufactured in India. So you prohibit the import of that. So you do that step by step over a few years. And then eventually in the next two decades, hopefully you have a completely indigenous defense industry that can actually export weapons and weapon systems to other countries, which would be a great source of revenue and foreign exchange, and, and, and it would boost India's GDP. So that is the overall objective. Hopefully in the next two decades, in the next 20 years, we can completely indigenize our defense industry, which would be fantastic.